It's Jin. Jin participate with Gizel. In his evil plot. Is Sara there? And Loon too. Ah, what a great castle! Clean, spacious, and solid as rock. Hot to take, easy to defend. That waterfall making my ears ring a bit, but that's the only drawback. <laughs> Really? I found a wonderful rider shooting myself, but yes, it's the perfect castle at the perfect time. We really couldn't have fit any more people in Rothfleet. True, but do you think it's okay for us to be using these ruins? Will the ancient be mad at us? Uh, a little late for a second too, isn't it? And wasn't this your crazy idea in the first place, Leon? Do I can Lorelai were so mad when I first suggested it. Not that they're any happier about it now. Or not, this ruin don't belong to them. This is the prince castle now. Besides, this ruin would never have been discovered if not for him. Got a point there. And speaking of this ruins, prince? How about a name for our castle? We can't keep calling it the ruins. Great idea. And since these are Cinder's ruins, how about Cinder Castle? I think Mohammed Castle would make a great name. How about something like Castle of the Maze, like simmering on the pale blue water? In the castle, boring. Mohammed Castle, are you insane? And then, uh, last one, Lucretia? Really, Lucretia, I respect your talent as a tactician, but your skill in naming leaves something to be desired. Ah, what was wrong with your name? I thought it was kind of pretty. You can't name the prince castle something like that. And besides, that way too many letters. There's only one solution. Let the prince settle this. What do you want to name the castle? Okay, let's try this, Cinder Castle. That name is not allowed. <laughs> okay, how about Mohawk Head Castle? Okay, Mohawk Head Castle. <laughs> Okay, Leon. Okay, I name it Sarah's Lake. That's the nickname, and yeah. And in Suiko Riki, name Sarah's Lake Castle, so I name it that. Sarah's Lake Castle? No, that's a decent name. As usual, the prince saved the day. Really? I like Cinder Castle myself. Boring! Such a little tyrant sometimes, you know that. What nonsense is this? Ah, oh, great timing. We just decided on the castle's name. We're going with Castle of the May Psych. Yeah, sure we are. Over my dead body. Please, please, you guys. This is no time to be fooling around. Come on, Prince. Enough of these trivialities. Did you find something, Dweck? Indeed, a room. And I need the Prince to assist with further inspection. It's up one floor. I guess I'll go too. Call me in as well. Okay, yeah, let's talk to everybody. Cultures like this can make a person feel infunnable. Don't let it get to your head, though. There's Lake Castle. Well, it beats Mohawk Head Castle. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty stupid. Always we can with Castle of the May, side simmering of the blue, blue water. I'm glad you're not. Okay, this is the castle. This is the main room. Ah, uh, the war room. Let's explore the castle now. This is Kisara. After I move like this, I'm in the mood for a housewarming party. Okay, this is the first floor. 
this castle perfect with this thick walls like this i don't have to worry about disturbing any neighbor at night this is our room and yeah common box from boss oh i get it so i read something in this box and your highness read it you know it's hard to talk to a prince face to face i guess you probably knew that so it's nice of you to set this up for us thanks your highness grandfather from Sindro. it seems my grandfather has joined the group now i'm gonna have to work extra hard the item about the family from takamu maps from a hundred years ago clearly show the stone fish and the half fill of naval base where i take about domain comment box from lucretia well how interesting i wonder what i should write you from jasapin i've come up with the perfect custom for your highness there's a drawing here that looks just like a holy elf crazy Take your room if you want, which is pretty big. You know, it's the biggest room in Sukoden history, I think. Yeah, no one has a bigger room than Frigider in the Sukoden history. You're for, uh, one and two, they like a room here or three. Get Thomas' room, but it's still, it's still small. And hero 4 is the smallest of all. So yeah, lucky Frigidor. Do you think it's um, wise to make a castle out of some mountain civilization's ruins? What if there are monster hiding inside somewhere? When the ruins were, the, were activated, the water drained out of Sarah's lake, right? That's only one explanation for something so amazing. Gears. Lot and lots of gears. Okay, this is the tactician room. It's big too. The scale of these ruins and the geographical location make them ideal for use as a castle. There's a need in this place as at quarter for the loyalist army was an excellent choice, your highness. Oh, it was Leon's idea? With a sufficient force assembled to post Godwin and our operation base here, victory should be soon be ours. I'm not scared of course, I'm just thinking about the safety of Lucretia and you. Look, looking at you in a big castle like this, I can't believe you're a prince, you know? Uh huh, not that you didn't seem like a prince before or anything. Friend Fiki, is it true that she can enter and exit places even without using a door? With people like that, what good am I doing guarding this entrance? Whoa, this is one fancy castle you got here, Prince. Make that bearish place look like an odd house. Haha, <laughs> who told a guy like me living in a such classy place? Let's go take a look at the rooms we have discovered. Okay. Originally from Rainwall, but I got so fed up with those barriers that I left that crappy town. If you need my half, just let me know and please keep an eye on Lucy Arena for me, okay? Lucy Arena is a weirdo. She puts salt on her cake. Salt! Apparently, Lord Barrow is the same way. Kids pick up the weirdest habits from their parents, huh? It's a worry here, nobody getting through the exit, unless I say so. This place must have been built by a remarkably peaceful civilization, clearly populated by fish and divas. I found myself quite fond of it. Majestic abode indeed, your highness. Although I was at home surrounded by these finely constructed stone ramparts, remind me of living in a cave in a rather comforting way. I'm just concentrated to say. Your Highness, for generation, the Atebold family has passed down this simple five war game, play on a board. There are three variations of the game, it's simple yet profound. Please give it a try if you have some time. Yeah, let's try it. 
not playing the war game. Checkers. Okay. A checker. Each player takes a turn moving a pieces. When a piece jumps over an opposite piece, the piece is clean. Piece can only move diagonally, move a piece to the next space diagonally, or leave frog over another tile diagonally. Piece can jump over friendly pieces or opposing pieces and can jump in any direction. However, it cannot jump over two pieces sitting in a row. When you jump over an opposing piece, you kill on that piece. If the previous condition are met, you can jump multiple pieces in one move. This can get you several pieces at once. One would think, moving a piece back to where it came from is considered an illegal move. You lose when only legal move remain. Also, there are times when a piece makes multiple jump and ends up in the same space that it started in. This is not allowed unless at least one opposing pieces was claimed in the process. If either player pieces are reduced to one, the player who claimed the most pieces win. Entrapment. In entrapment, each player takes turns moving pieces around the board in order to surround opposing pieces. Pieces can move freely in horizontal and vertical direction but cannot leave for over other pieces. Claim an opposing piece by surrounding it with two or more pieces. Two or more pieces can be claimed simultaneously. Moving a piece back to where it came from is considered an illegal move. You lose when only legal move remain. The game's end when a player has only two pieces remaining or runs out of move. When a player who claims the most pieces win? Conqueror. In Conqueror, each player takes turns moving pieces and attempts to send all pieces into the open territory. And top of the board is my territory, and the bottom of the board is yours. Piece can move one space in any direction, or leaf rock over other pieces. Piece can jump over friendly pieces or opposing pieces, and can jump in any direction. If this rule are followed, you can jump over multiple pieces in one move, but not over two pieces in a line. If there are no pieces to move on your turn, you are forced to pass, and it becomes your opponent's turn. Moving a piece back to where it came from is considered an illegal move. You lose when only illegal move remain. The first player to send all pieces to the open territory win. Okay. Again. Let's try check cards. Easy to understand the game. Third piece. Ah, oh, you go first. Well then, let's do it again. There's no way I will lose this. I will really lose this. If I go here, they're gonna jump on me. Yeah, I could 
take this. could do a second move if I want to. I don't think that's necessary. Yeah. If I jump here, this guy will jump on me. So I could just go here after that. And that's enough, right? Or back to where I belong. Cool. Doing the same thing again. This is the ultimate formation. Flashback, flashback, flashback. Wrong move, wrong move. Sorry, sorry about that. How about this? What you're going to do now? Excellent work, Johannes. Your strategy is remarkable. The offensive remains no. I'm not getting anything. Damn it. It's just mini game with a present or price. Okay, since there's no price, I'll quit. I think it's gonna be a price or something, you know? Goodbye. Thank you, Your Highness. Now that Lord Leak. Okay. So, here, now you're allies with Sinro, are you? Roughly pride the stuff on his mobility. We'll buy product from Wolver. We've got everything we ever need. This is loser in a... So, a lot like suffering has finally been erased. I only hope I have in some small way made up for the sins my family committed. Blame yourself. You wish to change your traveling company, do you? Not for now. I'm going to uh, see what everybody is doing. Alright, so I came right over the moment I heard that you set up your castle here. Thank you very much. Hello, Fiki. No, no, this does definitely feel familiar. Or does it? Gee, maybe I'm just imagining things. Anyway, this place is great. Perfect. A really fantastic castle. Oh, that reminds me. I want to give you something. Yeah, blinking mirror. You can use that to come back here in a flash, no matter where you are. Well, if you go too far away, it won't work. But it should be alright anywhere in Felina. Oh, and there's only one of those, so be careful with it, okay? What a strange feeling. Like, I've been here before. Or is my brain somewhere else? Vicky in this game is really cute, you know, the portrait. I think that's the best Vicky I ever seen. Jean on the other hand is quite the worst one. They can hardly say a word. Seems she'd rather daydream about ideal words than talk to a real person. 
In fact, the only person I've seen him have a real conversation with is you, friends. Yeah, our own trading operates with an ambition castle it is. You're getting more and more allies, I see, and I imagine they'll be needing this and that and some more of this. My grandson Zero set up shop as well. It'll be tough competing with him. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, we have trading please still here. Nice. You just wait and see, Prince. I'm gonna make this the best item self in all of Lina. With my trusty Abacus at my side, I'll be the best merchant in the land. Believe it. Hey there. I'm alright. Okay. Okay, this guy will gonna sell every item that uh, access in the item shop. Yeah, as long as you check them out, they will be available. This is Chuck, where he handles all the item that we need. All we not need in this matter. Yeah. Give it to him. Oh, this is exactly a Resident Evil warehouse. Ah, this is a guy. So, this is your castle. It suits you. He wish to train. No, no, no. You check the new arrival. Oh, filthy devil letter from Egbert. You have to send exact copies of this letter to 27 people within 27 days. If you thought, you'll be a filthy devil. Filthy devil. Crazy. Okay. The collapse of Hatted Fortress, the return of the river to Lord Lake, and now the discovery of this castle. It'll take a lot of work to revise the maps, but I'm up for the task. Okay, this is the map. Very cool. Blaska Mine Stone first. It's the Western side, Western wood. I got it present. Busker mine. Hey, what about the dwarf mine? The dwarf, yeah. You don't have the dwarf map. Roughly, at least there. Sarah's Lake Ruins is right in the middle. River Lodge. Oh, Lake Sable, okay. Mountain Pad, Mountain Pad, Estris, Yasuna. Well, it's actually Estris is more close to Yasuna. Grand Wall is more close to Yasuna Village, but you know it needs a sea, so it looks far away. It's really like yeah, it's right in the oceans. Maybe it connect to Island Nation or something. Evolving Bridge is Palace. Lunas, not with the Lunas, Hallowed Village. Yeah. The caustic here are just magnificent. Ah, oh, must look the performance here. First, I need to get a more the Remy off though. It's something mediocre? Me <laughs> Mediocrity! When are we going to look for Dory me off? You weren't fine any unless I'm with you, you know? You do understand that, yes? Yeah. Okay, there's one in the mountain path. We're going to go there later. This is the silt room. So, this is the room. What's so special about this place? Observe. Down room? There's one here too. What's happening? Prince, your rune. going on? What? What's that? 
side too? Yeah. What the hell was that? I don't know. Perhaps something left behind with the scene there. Was the down rune showing us some sort of vision? It looks like the light from the sun rune. Could it be? This is similar to the writing in a certain ancient tomb. Long, long ago, even before the arrival of the Sindar, a mighty dynastic nation held power in this land. Blessed by the sun rune, the dynasty was pr prosperous beyond compare. But one fateful day, the king went insane. His madness caused the sun rune to go berserk, destroying everything in its path. The nation was obliterated. Obliter obliterated, you mean? Exactly like that vision we just saw. You understand nothing, yet you were always in the middle of everything. Truth, dear I say. Oh, not you again. Who is this lady in black? I don't know, but she keeps barging in whenever the runes are nearby. I had to admit it, but it seemed that the dawn rune chose you by no mere twist of fate. I have decided to remind her and observe the situation more closely. I trust you have no objection? I have all kind of objection. Who are you? And where are you from? Quit speaking riddles, you crazy druid lady. Zerase. Zerase? What's a Zerase? My name is Zerase. I will explain nothing beyond that. But what are you? And you two over there, listen to me. I will say nothing of the Sindar. And I will say nothing of these ruins and what you witnesses here today. Your dad, Lorelai? Yeah, and I'm not too happy about it. No, I can't allow someone like you close to the prince. You're threatened to kill him before, remember? It's my sworn duty as bodyguard to protect his highness. He'll come no closer. If I wanted it, he would already be dead. As would you, my dear. His death was not the proper course of action. Indeed, quite the opposite. I think it may even be possible for me to... Help you. Thank you. We appreciate it. We don't need your help. Of course we, of course we need it. Uh, but let's see. We don't need your help. You will. It's of no consequences. You have no choice but to let me join you. How dare you address the princess that way. I told you. Stay away from him. Leon, please. Quit trying to be the hero here. Okay. Thank you. We appreciate it. Prince, this lady is insane. How can you be so trusting? Silence. This boy seems to at least possess marginal intellect, which is more than can be said for some of you. Boy, I just don't have any compliment for anyone, do you? You are going to tell us what you know at some point, right? I will only tell you what is necessary, and only when the time is right. Well, it doesn't sound like the time's right yet. I suppose I'll study this room a little longer, if you don't mind. <laughs> mind if I join you? Okay, we got zero on our team. She's a, a good magician. At least, finally, we get a, a, a great magician. <laughs> magician. The down rune ties to this ruin. <laughs> it all comes down to one question. Who will send her? Where this room will be. I know. I've seen other ruins like this before. Could they all be related? You don't question it further. I'll tell you no more. Concentrate reader on what you must do as possessor of the down room. Okay, for now let's just uh try to take this this Doremu elf. Um, 